In this tutorial, you'll learn how to find scholarly research in the CINAHL database, as well as how to add relevant databases at the same time if needed. Start at the library homepage, which you'll find at library.douglascollege.ca. Make your way up to the Articles and Databases menu and click Databases by Subject. Scroll down to Nursing, click it, and then scroll down to CINAHL Complete. Notice what it says here about CINAHL. This is the premier database for nursing and allied health research and covers over 50 nursing specialties. Give it a click, and if you're off campus, you'll be asked to authenticate using your CNA login. Otherwise, it will open up right onto the advanced search page. If you scroll down, you'll see that there are a lot of options to limit your results in specific ways. And if you're very certain of what types of things you're looking for, then pre-limiting can be a good strategy. For example, you can choose to see only things from peer-reviewed journals, specific types of clinical queries, publication types, and or areas of specialization, such as psychiatry or psychology. Alternatively, if you're starting your research process and you aren't sure what sorts of research even exists on your topic, it's better to try some searches first without checking any of these pre-limiters. This lets you see the totality of what's available, and it's very simple to apply any of these filters to your results list later. As you've learned in the previous lesson, you'll need to break your research question down into its main topics or ideas. When you have an advanced search screen to work with, you'll need to type your keywords and synonyms in for one topic per box. Let's imagine you're wondering if there's a connection between social media use and disordered eating in teenage girls. As I type eating disorders in the first box, notice this drop-down menu that springs to life. This is not a list of recommended search terms from CINAHL. It's simply a list of keyword combos that others have tried, so it's a great place to get ideas, but they may not all work for your context. So click off the option that's most relevant to you and don't hesitate to delete any terms that you don't agree with. For example, you might decide platforms like Tumblr and Twitter aren't really a focus for you, and so there's no point flooding your results list with articles about them. So let's delete those two. For the third box, I'm going to select a particular set of keywords and synonyms, all specifying the female gender. If I include terms like adolescent or youth with no signaler of gender, then there's a chance I might wind up with a lot of results that don't focus on gender, which doesn't suit my purposes at this moment. But this doesn't mean that I won't change my mind later. Research is a process and it's totally routine to try something, see if it worked, and if not, go back and change the keyword choices. Okay, so here's the results list for this combination, 359. I'm not convinced that this is a robust enough set of results for a good literature review. And I remember from the CINAHL blurb that it's trying to cover 50 different specialty focuses. It may be that I need to see if there's more research on this topic in a database specializing entirely in psychiatry and psychology. Fortunately, there's a very easy way to do this right within CINAHL. Scroll back up to the top of your screen and click the Choose Databases link. Here's a list of additional databases that can be seamlessly added to this search with the click of a button. For this topic, it makes sense to me to add the premier database for psych research, APA Psych Info. Click it, noticing CINAHL is still clicked off, and click OK. Notice at the top that there's now a Show All link. This indicates that you're searching more than one database now. Click Search again, and you'll see that the results have more than quadrupled. In this video, we've learned how to use the advanced search page in the database CINAHL and how to search additional relevant databases if needed. In the next CINAHL video, we'll continue on to explore some of its most useful limiters, how to email specific articles to yourself, 
and how to save your searches so you don't need to keep retyping them.